There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Ah, uh, why? We got a big, big problem. Okay. It was not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't care who ordered all the drinks. We need to figure out how to pay our tab. Pete's gonna love my solution. You know I always got genius ideas, right? You need a plan, you go to Rocket. That's the deal. Well, it depends on what the idea is. What? It's all gold coming out of this brain. We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am... That is... not a bad idea. Selling a corpse? How could that be profitable? There are people who would find it valuable. Exactly. And I know just the guy. The Collector. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum. So Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. These are the kind of people you want to be rubbing elbows with, Pete. Uh, okay, well that is... that is very weird. You got this purple freak laying dead in front of you, a tree puking his guts out in your toilet, and this is the weird thing? Look around you! Weird is the new normal! Or... we could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals, like the Collector. He's a corrupt thug, bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Hey, we're not exactly saints ourselves, Gamora. I'm not judging. There's a difference between us and the Collector. Yeah, we're, we're broke. broke. And the only way to get unbroke is by selling Thanos to him. Guys. We just killed the biggest, baddest criminal in history. We shouldn't turn right around and become one ourselves. <sighs> Working with the Nova Corps is the right thing to do. You're being a greedy little rodent right oh, now. Oh, as if you're so high and mighty, green lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. You do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. Hey, Rocket, cut it out. Way too far. You kidding me with this, Pete? This is why I need a friggin' break. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Enjoy staring at my furry backside, chumps. I always knew I'd make headlines someday. Just didn't think it'd be for killing a giant purple tyrant. <laughs> Had this bag since I was a kid. Used to hold candy. Now it holds... Well, now it holds alien candy. Hey, Mom. Ah, oh, missed that view. You, uh, doing all right after last night? The Rodin tried to deny me my victory. But you, my true and noble friend, Peter Quill, stood with me. I believe Hovat and Camaria can rest peacefully now. You know, I've never asked. Hovat and Camaria. What were they like? My wife and daughter. They were... Kind, brave, true. 
qualities I, myself, aspire to possess. Ask me no more of them, Peter. I do not always wish to remember their faces. All right, gotta run, Drax. Stay cool. My body temperature is always 125.9 degrees. Everything on this ship broken. Well, that's not good. Come to make amends? Yeah, man. Look, I'm sorry I didn't stick up for you earlier. Yeah, well, make it up to me by selling Thanos to the Collector. So what's up, my main man? How you holding up, buddy? Yeah, my liver's trying to shag me from the inside out. I've never had so many free drinks in my life. Living in a post-Thanos world, on the other hand, maybe it won't be so bad. Some time off would be a welcome change. So, you made up your mind. You're really leaving, then. Look, man, two days ago I was getting shot at. Last night I was getting shots. Know what I mean? We're famous. I gotta take advantage. Step one, sell Thanos. Step two, fling money into air. You still messing with that thing? Nope, dismantle it. Gonna use the parts to fix the engine. Really? Yeah, well, I stole parts from the engine to make it, so I'm just putting them back. I said I'm putting them back! So, what's the deal with this Collector guy? Might come as a surprise, but the Collector collects stuff for his collection. When he's not running the Underworld, that is. He pays tip-top dollar, which is way better than anything the Nova Corps can do for us. Why do you hate the Nova Corps so much? Those NC jerkwads locked me and Groot up at least a dozen times for bounty hunting, weapon stealing, you know, innocent stuff like that. Hey, come on, a guy's gotta make an honest living, am I right? I should get back to it. Oh, and don't be an idiot. Thanos is worth a fortune. Call the Collector. Just you and me now, Nebula. We should... I don't know... catch up? About what, Gamora? How you killed our father? You left us no Stay choice. Stay away from me. Hey, Peter. How are you doing? Fine. Staying as far away from Rocket as I can. Ugh, I don't want to let him ruin my mood. Last night was actually fun. Ah, maybe too much fun. So, something on your mind? Why do you like the Nova Corps so much? I don't really like to talk about it, but I was an assassin for Thanos. I killed so many people for him that I lost count. Tyrants. Innocents. 
didn't matter. If you ever hear the ridiculous nickname, the most dangerous woman in the universe, that was me. But the Nova Corps, they turned a blind eye to my past after I joined the Guardians. Being with you guys, making the galaxy safer, it's my chance to make up for what I did. So, you still mad at Rocket? He needs to watch his little tongue. I... may have been too harsh with him. He just... oh, he's so infuriating. Did I hear you talking to Nebula earlier? Ugh, if by talking to, you mean being yelled at. Ugh, even though she's pissed, it feels good to have it off my mind. Thanks for the advice. Okay, okay, let's not get touchy-feely about this. I would never get touchy-feely. That is an absurd expression. I guess I'll talk to you later. Some advice for you. Don't trust the Collector. You should call the Nova Corps. I mean, how bad could the Collector be? Greetings, I'm Vili, the Collector's representative. I, uh, heard you guys might be in the market for the biggest threat the galaxy has ever known. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. So long as the body's in museum quality condition, of course. Such as, no signs of advanced decomposition, excessive damage to the face or skeleton, and that the body mass is at least 90% intact. You know, I'm hearing a lot of stipulations here. You better not be trying to lowball me. I mean, I'm sure the Nova Corps would be interested, I can no, just... No, 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 we're quite interested. Send me your coordinates and I'll be there shortly with some... associates. To examine the specimen personally. Associates? Just make sure the body is there. Are you serious? Dealing with the Collector? That's a dangerous path we're going down. And I have a feeling it's not going to end well. It really does with creeps like him. I made this decision to benefit us. Okay, all of us. And our wallets. This is not about money, Peter. It's about building relationships. The Nova Corps could have helped us out. Peter, I thought you were on my side about this. Consider this side of the argument, Gabora. Money. Money! These people do not mess around, Peter. When they see the hole in that body... Don't worry, Gamora. Listen, I'll throw in that relic. Okay, it'll help sweeten the deal. Hey, that's a great idea! And we can get even more units! <laughs> Oh, come on, where did I put that thing? Found you. Peter! 
Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Ugh. He broke it, Mom. That doesn't mean it was okay to hit that boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. But it's okay for him to just break my stuff. Of course not. I imagine he's learned his lesson, though. You gave me this for my birthday. I mean, you should be pissed <coughs> off, too. <clears throat> and what he did was wrong, but... But you, you... Don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. Especially not someone who's three grades above you. I mean... That kid practically shaves. What? I could have taken him. Uh-uh. Don't get cocky, kid. I'm thinking, from the look of things, he took you. This can't keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately, but that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I mean a real apology. No smart Alex stuff. I'm not apologizing to him. That guy was an a-hole! Peter! Language! I only said A, Mom. Come on. Uh-huh. You and I both know what that letter means. You're making it real hard to see your side of this. When you act this way, it's like you're only thinking of yourself. What we need... is a little perspective. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. Beautiful. <coughs> These last few months haven't been easy for either of us, but um, I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'll never stop worrying about you. You're gonna be around long after I'm gone. I just... don't want you to be alone. <coughs> Mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <clears throat> it's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. You fixed it! Hell! What can I say, huh? I'm pretty good. Hey, oh, great song. Someone with exceptional taste must have introduced you to this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Losing it or something? This thing ain't a person, you know. Hey, be careful with that. What? I'm just holding it. Relax. You've been standing here for hours talking to this thing. Hours? Yeah. The collector's guys are waiting for us. Don't tell me you forgot. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, you okay to go out there? You look like you just seen a ghost. I can't have you going out there all crazy-eyed in front of them. I... think I did, actually. I mean, I... You saw a ghost. All right. Maybe you are losing it. When I grabbed the relic, I... I was suddenly back on Earth. And my... mom was there. Isn't she... dead? I know. I, I know. I know she is. I just... 
Somehow it didn't feel that way. Sounds like I'm not the only one who needs a break. Come on, we shouldn't keep him waiting. You still want to sell this thing, or... We are uh... not selling it. Fine, sure. Whatever. All right. Showtime. Let's go.